Well, it has been observed through various studies that when we keep SbA1c level less than 7%, there are very little chances of coronary injuries, heart attack, heart failure, cardiovascular risk and uh, kidney risks, peripheral vascular diseases, the stroke rates, everything, every com potential complications, they are reduced to minimum. So therefore, besides quality of life, so therefore it is important to keep SbA1c levels below 7. Types of diabetes, they were earlier known as insulin dependent, non-insulin dependent. Now we have changed the classification. Broadly, there are two types of diabetes. That is type diabetes type 1, where essentially every patient has to be put on insulin. This usually occurs in the young age, but sometimes the patients of the older age also can get this diabetes, which is different form known as LADA LADA where also they require insulin. No medicine works for this type of diabetes. Then we have very common, that is type 2 diabetes, which occurs usually at the age 35 years or more, and particularly more common in the people who are more obese and they have the family history. They have the sedentary lifestyle. They have very few physical activity. These patients uh, uh, usually get type 2 diabetes, which is primarily due to insulin resistance, which occurs due to the lack of physical activity. And this is manageable with medicines. But sometimes these type of patients, when they are not controlled with the medicines, some we have to use insulin in this type of patients as well. Then there are different types of diabetes like diabetes of pregnancy which is apparent in the roughly fifth month onwards and the diabetes of young is the new entity where the many indians are now suffering from this diabetes of the young people where it is also some people require oral medication some patient may require insulin and the other type of diabetes are also there this classification is quite vast even diabetes of pancreatitis which is TC. So I just don't want to confuse broadly type there are two types of diabetes, which is one which requires insulin, just type one, and the type two diabetes, which is the do not require insulin, where with the lifestyle modification, diet, and uh, oral medication usually help. One thing is both common in the both type of diabetes. The lifestyle modification and the diet implication of both types of diabetes is similar that we have to leave the uh, uh, doing the good amount of exercise physical activity we have to take the meals which should be frequently and a small portion of meals we should be taking and the whatever we eat we have to ensure the glycemic index is minimal and uh, we have to keep our sb1c level under control